Hello everyone. Here's a quick tip on how you can control the sharpness of your edges in Blender. Uh, if you're doing a low poly modeling, it's important to be able to squeeze all the performance you can out of every face because you're not going to have very many of them. So um, what you want is in some cases to have nice sharp edges like this, like you get with uh, Blender's default flat mode, and you want the other bits to be smooth. Select that again. So by clicking Shade Smooth, you can get these nice blends, and that's good for most of the polygons here, but what if you want some of those edges to stand out? Well, we're going to start by going back to the Smooth Shading, then we're going to press the Tab key to go into Edit Mode, and uh, we're going to go into Edge Mode. We can press number 2, or we could click that button right there, and I'm going to press the letter A twice to deselect everything. Now, let's say we want to put a nice sharp ridge along the uh, brow line here, just to emphasize that this is a uh, sharp break in the plane. Well, what we can do is we can select the edges along here, and then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to select Mark Sharp in the menu, the drop down menu here. And that's also available if you go to the edge menu up here and uh, go down to Mark Sharp. In any case, we now have this blue line, which shows a potentially sharp line. However, you might notice that if you go back into object mode and press tab to go back into object mode, it doesn't look particularly sharp. That's because there's one extra thing you need to do. You can come over here into the uh, modifiers tab, and we're going to add a uh, edge split modifier. And you might notice there's a little bit of extra sharpness because right now edge angle is checked. So that's going to automatically split at every angle that's greater than 30 degrees. We don't want that because we're setting our edges manually. So let's unclick, unclick that. Now because sharp edges is checked, all those edges we mark sharp are now looking nice and sharp on our model here. We want to uh, sharpen the uh, this bit over here. I'm going to hold down Control, and this is a quick way to select the whole bunch of edges at the same time. All right, and then we can do the right click again. Oops. Mark sharp. And there. Now we have a model that has smooth bits and sharp bits. And we can, uh, if we want to, let's say, make the edge of the ear sharp too, just to uh, give that a little bit of extra definition. There we go. Let's get all those edges there. Mark sharp. There we go. And you can have a lot of fun with this. Best of all, it lets you have a lot of control over your low poly models. So I hope you found this useful and uh, good luck in your Blender modeling projects.